Can you give us your reaction to the Hobby Lobby ruling? I suspected that might be your first question today. The Supreme Court ruled today that some bosses can now withhold contraceptive care from their employees' health coverage based on their own religious views that their employees may not even share. President Obama believes that women should make personal health care decisions for themselves rather than their bosses deciding for them. Today's decision jeopardizes the health of women who are employed by these companies. Uh, as millions of women know firsthand, contraception is often vital to their health and well-being. That's why the Affordable Care Act ensures that women have coverage for contraceptive care along with other preventative care like vaccines and cancer screenings. We will work with Congress to make sure that any women affected by this decision will still have the same coverage of vital health services as everyone else. President Obama believes strongly in the freedom of religion. That's why we've taken steps to ensure that no religious institution will have to pay or provide for contraceptive coverage. We've also made accommodations for nonprofit religious organizations that object to contraception on religious grounds. But we believe that the owners of for-profit companies should not be allowed to assert their personal religious views to deny their employees federally mandated benefits. Now, we'll, of course, respect this Supreme Court ruling, uh, and we'll continue to look for ways to improve Americans' health by helping women have more, not less, say over the personal health decisions that affect them and their families. Can you talk a little more about what um, options you're considering to make sure that women have access to uh, free contraceptives? Uh, I'm not in a position to do that right now. Uh, frankly, we're still assessing the decision and its legal implications. Um, we're also assessing what practical implications there are from this decision, including uh, what companies are actually covered by the Supreme Court decision. Uh, as you saw, the ruling referred pretty narrowly to uh, closely held uh, private sector companies. And uh, I described in my original statement that there are a range of other institutions that are treated in different ways. Um, you know, we're also taking a look at what kinds of health care plans these companies have uh, and how many employees are actually affected by this decision. So as we gather some more information, um, you know, we may, be able, we may be in a position to better consider the range of options that are available to the President. It is our view, as I said here at the top, though, uh, that, uh, that Congress needs to take action to solve this problem that's been created, uh, and the administration stands ready to work with them to do